Hey tubes, got something a little different today. Uh, had a little experiment going here. I don't know how well you can see with all the reflections, but I have an old lantern in here, and I tried to get some rust off it. You know, it was all all just surface rust, no bad rot or anything like that. And what I was using was this. Uh, trying to deal with the reflections here. This uh, EDTA stuff. You know, that's like the main ingredient in a lot of your rust removers. So uh, I threw some in the bucket here. and This has been sitting for three days, and uh, I'm not really getting the kind of results I want. I mean, from what I could see here, like a lot of the solder joints, I mean, they cleaned up and stuff, but the, the real rust uh, didn't come off. So, uh, you know, it actually the water actually looks darker than it really is because of the dark background. Let me set that on the ground and you see a little better. All right, I set it up here on this ladder here so you can actually see through the bottom and get a little more light. But you can see, I mean, I got a little, uh, little rusty water, you know what I mean? Some of, the, some of the water turned a little, some color, but really didn't do anything. So let me pull this stuff out and get a better look at it. And then what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to throw together a quick uh, electrolysis tank and, uh, and get the stuff off. I brought it over here to the sun. And uh, did actually do a little bit of something, but uh, not the results that I was really wanting. Let's check this out here. I'll try and stay out of the way. Like right here, this, this, I don't know what kind of metal this is here, but it really cleaned that off. I cleaned off really, really nice. But the rest of it, you know, I mean, it did, like if you rub your finger on it, it will. It will remove some of that and, and a lot of rust, but like I say, not the results I was looking for. So, uh, like I say, it did loosen it, but this has been sitting here for three days. And uh, did get some of the, it loosened it, but nothing, uh, nothing that we could do anything with, so. All right, let's, uh, Let's see what we can do about making a little electro electrolysis tank. Alright, here's what we're going to need for our electrolysis tank. We're going to need a five gallon bucket here. And you're going to need some uh, Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. Alright, not baking soda, washing soda. Baking soda will work, but I don't think it works so well. I had this on the shelf, Christ. Maybe for about 10 years or so. Here's an expiration. I don't know if that's expiration or not. It says 89. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if it was on a shelf since then. But anyway, that's what you need. Still got some dust on it. Wow. Yeah, it's been sitting there for a while. Alright, then you're going to need uh, some anodes. I just got have. I just uh, grabbed some of this off of the scrap pile. You could use almost anything. Any kind of, any kind of steel or... What have you got laying around? And last, you're going to need a, an old battery charger. Let me get this out of the way. This one, this one's, uh, looks like it's a 10 amp. Yeah, it goes down. It varies. It'll start at 10 and then go down to maybe 2 or so. But You need an older one. I don't know if the newer ones will work. The ones that... Uh, have the computer chips in them and tell you everything that goes on and you know they, they actually need a battery I think but the, these older ones don't this is just a power supply alright let me uh, let me go grind some spots on them pieces there and uh, get some fresh metal to attach to get a good ground alright got a water in a bucket here there we are now they say yeah uh, it does, it's not really critical, but uh, about about a teaspoon. This thing's bigger than a teaspoon. This is a shop spoon. So about a teaspoon per gallon. I don't think it's very critical. And it's a five-gallon bucket. So we'll stick uh, five in here. All right. Let me stir that up. It's only going to make it easier. So when we put the stuff in there, it's already mixed up. Alright, let me stir that up a little bit. Alright, we got it mixed up pretty good. 
Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to clamp these in here. These are, uh, they call them anodes. It's just your uh, steel. I'm just clamping them in place so they don't uh, move and, and contact with the, with the other part there. about equal distance. Like I said, I'm just clamping them there so they don't fall and they short each other out. Alright, now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna connect them together and get some wire. Alright, I wrapped the wire, I connected them together. Just wrap this uh, wire around all three of them. It's just this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just thin wire that the uh, they tie a re-rod together with. They say if you use copper it gets all funky and stuff, so we'll try we'll try this. Alright, we're just about ready. I got my uh, my lantern all ready to put in here, so I got it actually I don't know if you see it, I wrapped it around the, the hand instead of using the handle that probably would have worked or this little piece here, but I wrapped it around here so I know that uh, I pretty much got the they ground it to the to the lantern instead of just the top half or something. Alright. Just make sure it's not touching any of them bars. Tough to see because it's cloudy in there, but and it's actually it's not touching the bottom. And it's fully submerged. Alright. Let me get the battery charger. All right, if I remember correctly, I think the positive goes to the anode. Make sure we get a good contact there. And the negative goes to this. We'll try and get it. Okay. All right, I'm going to hook something up there and make sure I get a good ground on that. Okay, I put a little clamp there on a piece of wood there so that uh, my clamp, my battery terminal clamp can uh, have something to squeeze on to. It wasn't really squeezing on to that, that piece of uh, thin metal. Alright, let me plug it in, see what happens. Okay, we plugged it in and uh, battery charger, looks like it's, uh, it's just pumping out 2 amps, plenty, that's all you want. And the way you know it's working is if you look down here, you'll see some activity. You see that anode there? Whoop. Sorry about that, I zoomed in a little too fast. You see all that bubbling action? So you know uh, you know you got a good connection. This is only, It's only been like two minutes already. It's, uh, it's starting to work real nice. Let me check this one here. All kinds of bubbling, all kinds of action going on. I don't know if you can see in there, but I know you got a big glare here. But uh, plenty, plenty of bubbles going on. That's gas. It's giving off gas. That's why I have it out here in the outside. I'll leave it out here overnight too. Alright, this water should get uh, real funky, real rusty and funky and goopy and gloppy, so uh, we'll let this sit overnight and see what it looks like tomorrow. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm right here near the garage door, so I can I put the battery charger in and just leave this outside. Alright, it's been about an hour. Got a lot of foam on the top there from the gassing. And then around the edges. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of rust forming on the edge of the bucket. Let's check our anode there. Still bubbling. Still bubbling pretty good. Alright. 
Like I said, we'll let it go overnight and see what happens. Alrighty. Alright, it's been about 24 hours. And uh, I made a few uh, changes here. I, I took the, the thin wire off I had and put some uh, thicker wire. And I also clamped it on so I got better connection. You know, with vice grips. Because uh, it, was, it wasn't, getting, uh, wasn't getting good continuity there. So we took care of that. Alright, as you can see, it looks like there's nothing going on. You know, so that means it's pretty much all done. But if you look down there, there's, there's some very little activity. You know. Still getting a little bubbling out of it, but uh, for the most part, it's it's done. I think right, right now, most of the rust is just, uh, it's just uh, the rebar, whatever it is. That's not even rebar, that's just a uh, 3.8 round stock, I think. But... Uh, the only thing going on now, I think, is uh, it's just rusting because it's in water. So, uh, let's uh, pull this out of there. Shut, shut our machine off and uh, pull it out of there. That's what happens when, if the old rust is taken off, pretty much, it just, it sort of shuts itself down. It's still working, it just, it, it can't pull any more rust off. Because there isn't any more rust to pull off. So, uh, let's tear this down and see what it looks like. Alright. I disconnected the charger and everything. I'm not going to disassemble this because I have some other parts I'm going to put in there and a couple other lanterns too. So let's just uh, pull it out and uh, take it outside. I don't know if you've seen that, but uh, like some sludge just uh, fell off of that. But that's it. Let's take it out here. It's funny. It's like 80 degrees out here. It's uh, it's November 6th. All, all these leaves just just fell today. I don't know if you can see it, but they're actually, you can actually see them falling. The leaves falling to the ground. It's a little breezy out. But it's November 6th. Here goes one. November 6th. It's 80 degrees. And this is New Jersey. Usually this time of year, it's uh, the highs are in the 50s. The high 50s and low 60s. But uh, some wacky weather. I think it's the last day we're going to get of it. But anyway, let's get back to your lantern here. It's pretty good. The bottom looks nice, the bottom is shiny. And the rest actually came out pretty good. So let me uh, hose it down and maybe uh, get a toothbrush or a wire brush on it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay. I got it in a bucket of water. There's nothing in this water. Just uh, it's just plain water. And I started uh, wire brushing it, and it's actually uh, coming out pretty nice here. Get, gonna have a nice patina. When I when I finish wire brushing this, I'm gonna uh, cover it with linseed oil. Keep the keep the natural finish on it. But uh, when I say wire brush, it doesn't really take much effort. You know what I mean, just just very light. And it, and it takes that surface stuff off. So this shouldn't take much time at all. I just got a, I think it's stainless steel wire brush here. And uh, got a little one, a little one for doing up here. Like I say, when you know all the rust is pretty much dissolved, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work here, a little bit of elbow grease. But, uh, you know, not much. I think I also have a piece of uh, a piece of this scratch pad in here. This works. This works good too. Like I say, it don't take much, you know. And it's uh, should come out pretty nice. All right. Let me yeah. Uh, we finish wire brushing this and then uh, we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I uh, finished wire brushing and everything and I'm, uh, I'm real pleased the way it came out. It's got a real nice patina to it. And I dry it, I blue dry it with the compressor. And uh, like I said, I'm real happy with it. So now I'm, I'm going to throw some uh, oiled linseed oil on it. And it should come out looking pretty good. Alright. Alright, we put a coat of uh, boiled linseed oil on there and uh, 
looks pretty good. I, I like the patina to it, you know, it's like, it's not black, but it's like a dark, dark gray. And that lens oil should protect it from uh, rusting. You know, it, it'll dry. You know, it's not like paint and everything, but it does, does dry and harden, so it will keep it from rusting. Alright, maybe I'll try and get a picture of this thing before uh, I process this video and uh, get a picture of the lantern all, all finished up with the glass in it and everything else. I still have to do some uh, electrolysis on the, the cage that holds the globe and and the lid there and the burner, but uh, that shouldn't that shouldn't be much. All right.